Act Like We Never Left BDA and this One Piece episode was really a good episode because it had one of my favorite characters, Aquaba. But it started off and it was kind of slow because it was Dillinger versus Ideo and Ideo was getting waxed by Dillinger and that begs the question really, how strong is Dillinger? Like if Dillinger was on the Straw Hat crew, like where would he rank? Would he be, would he be fourth or would he be like fifth? Is he stronger than Robin? Is he right there between Robin and Frankie? I'm not sure where Dillinger is, but Dillinger is pretty powerful. I mean, he really waxed Ideo. But we move forward and Gladius reaches out to Dillinger. He's like, hey, I have my hands full with Barto and Cavendish, so I need some help. He wipes full with Ideo, heads over, and then boom, that boy Hakuba takes care of business. Okay, he, he one-shots him, pretty much. And Hakuba, that's his thing, dude. That's his thing. He one-shots people. So him doing that, you know, is expected. And then Hakuba, he starts going for everybody because Gladius, he realizes that Hakuba is a problem. So he's like, yo, Dillinger, you know what? I said come over, but just stay away because, you know, it's this guy over here and he, he, he's a problem, okay? We go and Bartow now. Barto is barricading himself inside of his barrier because he's scared of Hakuba. Because Hakuba, he has this that creepy look on his face. And then they flashbacks when Hakuba wiped the floor with everyone in the uh, tournament. So right now, man, Hakuba is doing his thing. He even showed Hakuba going after Robin. And this is where it called BS because Hakuba is one of the fastest characters I've seen in One Piece. And Robin is casually just stops him with her flu or whatever, her mono mono fruit, right? And uh, mono mono, uh, mono mono, I don't know, whatever, her hand fruit, right? And it's, I'm like, that's BS. Unless she has superb observation hockey that we haven't seen yet, or I don't know, because how can you use your fruit on him when you can't even see him? I, I don't get that. Maybe she predicted his patterns, but I, I'm calling BS on that, okay? That's basically what this episode is about. Hakuba going in. Um, Gladius is kind of getting owned by uh, Hakuba and Bartolomeo. Bartolomeo, he, he's him running from Hakuba and Idio getting owned. I mean, overall, it was a good episode. That part with Robin was the only part I really didn't like. And I mean, the first half was just BS with Dillinger, him biting Ideo, and you know, you find out about his his fighting fish lineage, I thought that was cool. So Dillinger, I mean, if you had your choice of a uh, Doflamingo or someone from the Doflamingo family, who would it be? I mean, I'm thinking would, my choice would probably be Gladius. I'm thinking either Gladius or Pika because Pika is very resourceful in what he can do. But you know, um, it was a good episode. I mean, Bartolomeo as usual is hilarious because Robin winked at him and he's like, oh my God, Robin Senpai, you winked at me. What does that mean? And he was, he was just focused on thinking about that. But it was a good episode though. I really don't remember what the next episode is about because I, I try to stay away from the One Piece previews because they're, they're kind of misleading. But yeah, let me know what you thought about the episode though. Do you think that it was BS when Robin just casually caught Hakuba when we could barely see him? And is Bartolomeo a troll? Nah. <laughs> like the video if you did guys, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.